All right, so here we are again. It's Leonard here from DigitalLeonard.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to do an overview of what you can actually achieve with Facebook ads. Um, now, if you scroll through your Facebook, if you just go through the timeline of your Facebook and just scroll down, um, you will see that there are a lot of ads popping up. You see a lot of ads, people are trying to promote one thing or the other using Facebook and Instagram. That is because this platform is actually um, the cheapest platform out there that you can use to advertise any product at all you want to advertise online. So basically, um, the way you can use Facebook ads to promote your business, to actually promote whatever you want to promote online is um, actually using the Facebook ad manager itself. And in order to assess that, is just to go to facebook.com forward slash ad manager. So you just put facebook.com forward slash ad manager and that will actually take you to a back end like this. Um, in order to be able to use Facebook to promote your business, you need to create first a business fan page for um, that particular business that you want to promote. And once you have page for those who have created their pages already, if you are not, if you have not, or you can check out... Um, the video I made on how to create your Facebook page, how to create and optimize your Facebook page. But if you have a page already and you have been publishing on that page, you've been making posts on that page. Each time you make a post and people are following and engaging with that post, Facebook will keep notifying you to boost the post. You can actually achieve a lot doing this from this end. But basically what I would advise is that you use the Facebook ad manager interface itself because from here you can achieve a lot if i just go up here and i click on this ads manager the three um, dotted line here if i just click on it and click on the span menu um you see there are a whole lot of things you can do here most especially what i'm even interested in most is the audience inside of facebook um where is that where do we have the audience all right this is where we have the audience and with this audience inside here you can achieve a lot with this you can have a preview you can come here to the audience inside and see all you just need to do is type in the country where you want to actually run your ad um choose the category of age the age, age range of people you want to target whether men or women go ahead if it is both you go ahead and choose or and then type in here the interest what a particular interest you have or you want to target and this will give you an overview of the kinds of things people who are interested in that your audience like the kind of pages that they follow and the kind of job titles that you'll be targeting using your facebook ads this i will walk you in depth in uh, my next video but this time around i just want to show you an overview of what you can achieve facebook ad is one of the cheapest ad platform online that you can use any business at all you can use with a, as little as a thousand naira per day or even 500 naira per day you can start running ads on facebook but the thing is with Facebook ad, the more money you put in, the more people you reach. So if you want to reach a larger audience, you have to put in more money. But I'm saying if you're a small business owner, you want to actually start doing things or start running ads on Facebook with as little as a thousand naira as your daily budget, you can achieve a lot using Facebook. So basically, all you need to do is if you go to Facebook, uh, maybe this is your first time of using Facebook ad. Um, this is how it's going to look like. If I click on the drop down here, um, you see that I have a lot of different ad accounts here that I managed. But the, basically, this is like a new ad account. I've not run any ad on this. So all you need to do now, if you want to run an ad on this account, in your own case, if you are new to the ad platform, Facebook ad uh, account platform, this is going to look like. So all you just need to do is either you click on this button here to create a new ad or you click on the green button here to create a new ad. So let's assume I want to create an ad to actually and the objective will be um, the conversion. Uh, the end goal of my conversion will be to get WhatsApp messages, get people contact me via WhatsApp. Um, once I create a page. You need to first create a page and then link your phone number to that um, and then your Instagram account. All I just need to do once I go to the ad account is to create um, an ad. I'm going to create an ad now. And when I click on create, these are the different objectives that we have here, which has been categorized under awareness, under consideration and conversion. 
um, under the awareness we have brand awareness if you just want um, your businesses your brand to be in front of people people to notice your brand people like um, coca-cola and all these big organizations actually use this brand awareness and reach if you want to drive traffic to your website to your blog to caption list or whatever the end goal is for your traffic you can use facebook to actually achieve that you can drive traffic you can um, uh, run ad for post engagement you made a post on your page and you want it to reach more people more people to engage on it you can go ahead and use a post engagement on that post engagement you can equally run ad for page like so if i click on post engagement here yeah, um and then scroll down here you have the option of you know promoting running this ad for post engagement for page like or for event response so those are the three different options that you have under um, the engagement tab here and you can run traffic you can run ad to drive traffic to your website you can run ad to actually get your apps in stores um, on people's phones you can run ad to actually get more video views if you upload any video online on facebook and you want to get more video views you can run ad using um, the video views you can run ad to generate leads facebook has its own platform of collecting leads for you you can actually do that we will work i'm going to work it step by step on how to do each of this ad and then you can run ad to get people sending you messages the responses um, uh, people will be replying via uh, messenger to actually get more details about whatever ad you are running and then for conversion um, this is where you can actually run ad to get people send you messages to um, on, on whatsapp so you can actually go and do that and then for catalog sales this comes in when um, for e-commerce platform like jumia if you have come across jumia or conga uh, ad on facebook you see that they have different product we just want add they have different product sliding in they will show you this particular product with a different um price you will show another product with a different price but this is one ad that is what catalog sales actually does so if you have an e-commerce platform you can actually use uh, catalog to do that and then we have store visit you can run ads on facebook to have people visit your physical um, store location but presently now you can see this yellow tab here um, is because of the COVID-19 uh, Facebook um, noticed that a lot of shops are not opening so right now as it is you can run um, ad for store visit for people to actually visit your physical um, store location but you can run ad for all of these other options here that you're seeing here so all I just need to do for instance now if I want to run ad for WhatsApp um, to get messages on WhatsApp all I need to do is to go with conversions and once I go with conversions, you are going to be asked to um, create an A and B test. Um, this will go into depth uh, with this. But now for campaign of the uh, budget optimization, I'll leave this off. And then once I select the campaign, which is conversion, you can go on here and rename it if you want to. I'll just say set up ad. And then because this is, I've not set up this ad. If you're equally new here, you are going to select your country and then the currency you want to be uh, actually charged on but uh, you can choose um, the us dollar you can choose any other currency you want here but all i want for this account is um actually nigeria naira so that i will charge in nigeria naira and then the time zone um africa Lagos, that is perfect and you just click on continue and then when you click on continue this is where we are going to actually define the objective for this ad which is the ad set you can go ahead and name this whatever you want to name it just click here and name it the ad set then here we the we facebook is giving us because we selected conversion facebook is giving us which kind of what do we want to achieve with this um conversion objective is it app in store is it messenger is it whatsapp this is when we are going to select uh, the whatsapp um, tab here we'll just select the whatsapp and then go ahead and select the page you want to promote you have different pages I manage different pages here so I can go ahead and select any page that I want to promote and it will prompt me because this page has not been linked to WhatsApp so in this case you can actually do the linking here all you just need to do is to add up the WhatsApp message here and click on next and Facebook will automatically send you a code via um, that WhatsApp number that you added and all you need to do now in the next screen is to actually input in the WhatsApp number and once you put in the WhatsApp number that will automatically be linked and you can now start running ad once it's linked up you can now start running that ad 
and once people contact you all i just need to do is to go down here and then define your audience where do you want to target it could be okay creating a new audience would be okay i want to target all nigerians so i'll go ahead and um just click on a here already selected nigerians and then the age range is between 80 to 65 plus and because it's whatsapp audience i don't have the option of actually defining the interest the interest of people i want to target because facebook is saying okay we'll target the broader audience to reach the number uh certain numbers of persons so i i can't define the target audience but in other options if i go back here and select another option instead of whatsapp here let me just show you how that works let's say you want a website um or messenger the case may be let's say for messenger and i scroll down here to the target that will actually give us the details the option of editing the detail targeting so if i click on edit now i can go ahead and say okay i want to target um, um digital marketers so i'll go ahead and type in whatever i want here and then marketing So digital marketing as an interest i'll go ahead and click on that you can target people based on their interest um if i just go on here to uh, let's say browse i can target people based on demographics on their interests and behaviors using um this same detailed targeting option here you can target a whole lot of different options here but basically i use uh, a tool called interest explorer i'm going to leave this in the video description below so it's called interest explorer and what is actually as the name indicates all i just need to do with this is just come here um if i sign in because i, I have a license to actually use this if i sign into interest explorer and then it brings me to my dashboard all i just need to do now is to add up the interest for instance if i say i want to target entrepreneurs i just add up entrepreneur here the reason for using here interest explorer is if i come back to the facebook ad manager here and i want to target if i start defining the um, interest my interest here the people i want to target for instance if i say i want to target affiliate marketers or so once i type in here the options that i'm giving here are limited but what interest explorer actually does is it gives you all of this option if you type in entrepreneur all of these options that i have here are audience that i can actually target as you can see here i once i start scrolling down you have other options you have bigger options here bigger audience size here so i can target it instead of just typing entrepreneurship if i type entrepreneur here on facebook to target with this i can't get um i i won't get to know that I'm supposed to target people who will equally be interested in business, uh, in entrepreneurship, who are who like this business networking, business incubators, all of this exit strategy. I won't be able to know this, but this is what Interest Explorer just does. It actually explores a lot of interest that is related to the keyword, that particular keyword that you've typed in, and all of these are target table or using Facebook. So with all of this, I can target this. I, all I just need to do now is in order to target all of these people, basically why I use Interest Explorer is if I select all of this, um, it goes ahead and give it to me here. All I need to do is just to copy it to clipboard, but I'll go ahead and save to project. If I save to project, I cannot divide this audience into three and then use it to actually do the, um, the targeting. Uh, first, I will paste the first group here and then go to narrow audience and then paste the second group. Um, once I divide this group here, if if uh, really I'm, I want to target entrepreneurs, that is basically what I do. And that is what Interest Explorer actually does for you. It helps you to reach a wider range of audience out there. So all I just need to do, if I divide this into three, I'll paste the first group here, paste the second group, and then narrow down again and paste the third group and save this audience once i save this audience i just click if i scroll down here all i need to do now is um, actually go ahead to use put in my daily budget how much am i ready to spend on a daily basis you can go ahead and click on this to say okay you want to spend this money for a lifetime you go ahead and check this and then um, facebook will tell you this will run from today till um, june that is for the next one month this is how much you are going to spend you have the option of you know putting in the amount of money you want to spend if you want to run your ad for the next one month or you can do a daily budget 
of a thousand naira, three thousand naira, as um, the case may be. So once you finish defining this on the ad set, the next thing you want to do is to actually move on to. If this be the case, just reset it to the start time to apply this. Um, just click on continue to actually move to creating um, to the creative. The creative is where you can now add the option, select um, the page to link up with Instagram. Um, you can go ahead. You, you, this same ad I'm going to run here can equally be run on Instagram. So all you just need to do once all of these things, you do them using your fan page to link up your Instagram page with your um, Facebook page. So when you come in here, you can now select the page and then you scroll down here. And this is where you are going to create whatever you want to use. For instance, if I want to use an image, or I want to use a slideshow or create a video, you can just go ahead. If I click on the image, I can add an image or just add a video clip. If I click on add an image, it will bring me here. So I have the option of selecting whatever image I want to actually add. Um, if I want to, I can add from account image, from page image, from Instagram post, or just use stock photos. If I click on stock photos, I have all of these different photos that I want to uh, actually use. I can go ahead whatever photos that relate you can come in here and type in whatever you want to type for instance if i type in here blog it will bring pictures that are related to this if i type in entrepreneur it will bring pictures that are related to this if you type in affiliate marketing it brings these pictures that are related to that and you can just use any of these pictures that are here um these are pre-made pictures already that you are going to actually use so once that picture is uploaded you are going to see a preview of your ad um right now we are having a temporary error i don't know why the error but normally you will see a preview of your ad here let me just change that image um if that is not showing up you can now type in whatever message you want to send out here but let's see how this work let's add up an image again from um, stock photo So once we select the stock photo, um, you can see here that the photo has been applied there. This is how this is a preview of what our ad is going to look like. Um, forget about the watermark you are seeing here. Once this ad is approved, all of the watermark on the images will actually go on to just be um, the more images you are going to use. So here you can now type in the message you want to send out. Um, it could be let's say learn to blog in three days. Whatever message you actually want to send out, that is, this is where you are going to type the message. And then if you want a, um, a headline, you can go ahead and type in the headline here. Or you can change this connect in Messenger to whatever you want to target. For instance, if this was supposed to be a WhatsApp, you could just be send WhatsApp or chat us on WhatsApp. Whatever message you are going to put in there, just input in the message here. And then um, call to action button here. You can change it. Uh, if I want people to contact me via WhatsApp or Messenger, I will just leave it as send message or learn more or whatever you want to do to actually send people to um, a website or something on a landing page so this is basically an overview of how you can create an ad of any type using facebook um once you are done all you just need to do is to click on confirm and your ad will undergo a process of reviewing and once facebook have reviewed and approved your ad your ad will start running and at the end of the day at the end of every day one thousand is your target once you reach that cap, Facebook debits your account. So basically, this is just a, an overview of um, what you can actually achieve um, using Facebook ad or how to actually run a Facebook ad. I will go into in-depth tutorial. Um, if you if you want to actually learn more about Facebook, you want to know how to actually do Facebook, use Facebook to do your business, then leave a comment below or contact me via my blog and I'll have a one-on-one -on -one section with you to actually walk you through on how this actually works. But in my next video, I'll actually go in, in depth on how to create this. Go ahead, if you have not um, tried this out, go ahead and try it out. And if you are stuck anywhere, please use the comment section below and I will definitely attend to your need. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be the first to be notified each time I publish new videos like this. So until we see you again, Take care.